Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got part two of my full pistol offense breakdown today. If you guys missed it in yesterday's video, I put out part one. I will put a link in the description if you guys want to check that out if you missed that. Uh, but without a doubt, this is part two. I did the entire pistol book. Uh, it's my most up to date, and it's one of the best running playbooks in the game. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you want me to continue to put out videos like this, I try to put out a full uh, breakdown video like this at least once a month. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and I'll continue to do this series other than that let's go and let's get right into the video next up out of the pistol weak slot flex we have the halfback dive this play is kind of like the default play um, if you see good spacing it's a good uh, five to ten yard run I mean it's not a huge run it's not explosive but it's important to have in your formation you can flip the play and it's just as effective uh, but you can see the blocking in this formation is going to work out really well like I said the, the main plays um, there's going to be more explosive plays in this formation, but this one here I find is a really consistent run just to keep your opponent honest. But it's definitely something that you're going to want to use in your audibles. Here's another play. Like I said, we're getting a lot of looks where there's open spacing in the middle. Anytime you see open spacing, open gaps in the middle, it's going to be one of the better times to pull this out. Even if it's not, like I said, it's not the hugest run, it's going to be an important run. Next up we have the smash wide corner. Against zone coverages, cover three, cover four, if you motion out this running, I can put them on a streak. Um, it'll basically just get this uh, outside cornerback um, to basically forget about the fact that he has to take out these these outside routes. If you have a speed back at the Y route, I feel like the Y route's a good route. It gets open at several different points. It also can beat man coverage, beats zone coverages. Um, your opponent probably won't do a very good job of using that route. But I like to put the, uh, the, the RB route. I like to use this as a cover three play. Put the RB route here on a streak. Put him in the, the slot. Um, in this scenario, block the fullback, block the tight end, and put the X route on a smoke, and you have a really good cover three play. The, the RB route will make the uh, the outside cornerback forget about that, uh, even though he didn't catch it, forget about that route there, um, because that's pretty much how cover threes work now. So this here would probably be one of the better uh, setups, um, because like I said, this guy here, he's just going to be wide open. That cornerback's going to forget about him pretty much every time, whether it's cover three, and a lot of times cover four as well can have that effect. The best outside run play is the power option. Let's go and let's pick that, and we'll pick random 4-3. This play here you can work against just about any uh, anything. You can go left or you can go right. doesn't really matter, uh, but it's much faster developing, and then you have that backup option, which is the pitch. Now there, that was a pretty uh, stout defense. As long as the uh, defensive front isn't too packed, you can take this to either direction. If it's a man coverage like this is because there's no cornerback on the right side, you can basically just take this to the uh, to the open side of the field. It's going to be very successful. Like I said, the quarterback, got to love when they turn the blockers because that really can make a huge difference. But otherwise, you just want to kind of hold it. Um, as long as possible as you can see but the blocking is really just taking everything away So in the man coverage look like that. I mean you're obviously gonna have a big play if it's a zone coverage I'd say go behind the receivers, but you can really take this either way And then like I said having that backup pitch option is absolutely huge as you can see We're just getting huge plays all uh, you know, you can do this pretty much all game It's a really good uh, running play to use from this formation The halfback counter is also one of the best running plays in this formation, but there's a very specific look you want, uh, like right here, obviously, there's too much going on on that side. You can flip it and run to the other side uh, where there's a little bit more spacing. But uh, but that's pretty much the, the look. You're going to want uh, spaced out defense as much as possible. And since the speed option that I just showed um, has a lot of... Uh, outside run looks a lot of times your opponent's going to spread the defense to try to stop that play Then you just basically switch it up hit him with this counter play But you know obviously the counter play is a secondary play to that to that run play I think that's more important like I said you can't flip these plays It doesn't really matter which side you run them to but to me It's a little bit better running it to the stock side uh, as long as you can get uh, a Appropriate look like I said these defenses are in kind of tight and that's why it's not really working out You really want more spacing uh, anytime you run a counter play, you want more spacing. Like these defensive ends, defensive tackles being so close to one another isn't necessarily going to create the space that you want. Uh, but right there, they were so close that it actually worked out my benefit. So without a doubt, the counter play, you typically want spacing. Like right here, there's too many guys in that box. I could easily flip that, try to take it the other way. Uh, and then, you know, you can see there's nothing but space out here. I mean, this is a really good running formation, one of the better ones in the book. The best passing play is the PA option pass. 
we're going to pick that. We'll go random on defense. All you really have to do here is streak the A route, put the B route here on a drag. That's pretty much it. Block the running back. And this play is going to beat uh, most defenses. Post patch, uh, these cover threes do a little bit of a better job um, taking on these oncoming routes. But you can see, I mean, there's nothing but uh, nothing but space over here. That was a cover two, which is why that worked. But man or zone, you should have a lot of success. I forgot to block the running back. We have an all-out blitz. Very good check down here, though. <laughs> it's, a, it's a perfect opportunity to show the drag because that's a very good check down. Uh, but both of the crossers will beat man or zone. You really just have to uh, make the right selection once they get there. There, I forgot to drag my dude all together. And I don't know what happened. It's like I instantly sacked. So, like I said, really easy setup. I've you know shown this setup in multiple different plays, multiple different looks. Um, here, like I said, that crosser. Cover three does a better job of covering that crosser now, but otherwise it's still a very good play. You could also put the running back, swing him in the direction of the flood, um, and it can have some uh, you know it can have some positive effects as well. As you can see, we barely get that ball off, and we'll stretch out for it. Um, but yeah, I mean you can do that if you don't want to block the running back. Although I find blocking him. Uh, it's kind of important. Um, you can't have success, um, you know, basically just treating him like another option. He'll beat zones. He won't beat man. The other two routes, crossing routes, will beat man. But if for whatever reason, say you have a cover three, uh, which, like I said, the cover three will handle these crossers kind of, you know, more respectably than normal, then you also have this option here, which is the uh, the swinging uh, fullback or the swinging halfback. Against cover three, um, if, you op if you run this to the open side of the field one more time, uh, flip the play uh, and then motion the running back out and don't put don't change his route Just leave him on a swing route and then streak the a route. You can have a really glitchy effect These uh, cover three cornerbacks don't cover that very well So you can see right there He basically bites underneath and then you get a really easy shot to the seam If you have a faster tight end than this like a mutt you're gonna be killing it with this not sure if that works um, to anywhere else on the field, but that's definitely uh, you know those that swing route is definitely something that um, you know, I, I, I can't say that I've seen. So here we're going to do that. We'll try that again, you know, to the to the center hash. And now you can see once again, I mean, I, you get behind it. And like I said, I don't necessarily have the speed that I want, but you can see how um, if I did have a little bit more speed, I mean, this is just like an instantly go and play. So you could basically set it up the exact same way. Give yourself that drag so that play will still work. And then, like I said, you have that uh, that instant, uh, you know, open play. But like I said, it works better if you run to the open side of the field. If you run it from the uh, from a hash, um, it'll it'll have a much uh, better effect. You know, run to the open side of the field once again. Um, so now, you know, the defense is more tightly compact, uh, and that's why you're going to have uh, a little bit more more of a reaction, a little bit more spacing. Next up out of the pistol eye wing, we got the PA tight end slide. Make sure you have a running back here because um, you're going to catch some flat beaters. So let's go. Let's pick that. So this play right here, I mean, this uh, this running back is just a really good zone beater. If it's a cover two zone like that was, the cornerback will react a little bit quicker. But any off coverage like cover three, uh, cover four won't really have that uh, effect. Um, you can motion him in too to try to uh, pull those guys back. It'll pull everybody back. It'll pull back the linebackers and stuff like that because you're really just trying to steal to the flats. So that's pretty much going to be the main objective here. Um, your, your tight end, uh, the A route is going to be a decent man beater as well. The other routes are all about zone beaters. Um, so right here, like I said, we have an all, it looks like an all-out blitz. But you're really just reading those three routes. You're reading the two tight ends and the fullback. Uh, the, the receiver, the only receiver on the field, really his job is just to pull back coverage. You can put him on a slant or something if you want. If it's like a man coverage like this looks like it could be, that could have uh, some positive effects. But like I said, this is all about ball control. This whole offense is uh, it's about ball control, uh, you know, dink and dunk passes and uh, quick throws like that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much uh, this is pretty much the key to success right here. As you can see, once again, we get that flat, and we're just basically beating. Uh, you know, you, you have to your opponent's going to have to match large personnel. That's how you win with speed on a play like this. Next up, we have the post shot. So all you really have to do for this play is motion this guy in. Uh, this play can be a one-play touchdown against a, a cover four, which I'll show here in a minute. But you just motion this guy in; he pulls the coverage back, uh, and that's how you get these uh, these crossers. You know, what I mean, it's really all what it's about. I mean, this is just uh, ultimately this is a crossing concept. So it's pretty much going to be, um, you know, 
A route or B route. That's pretty much it. I'm never really looking. This other guy here is just really just the pullback coverage. Uh, if it's a, you know, it really doesn't matter what coverage it is either. Man coverage, zone coverage, it's going to have the same effect. It's also a good cover for one play touchdown. You really don't have to do anything. But I would say blocking the tight end, putting the B route out, and then putting him on a smoke uh, would make the most sense. That will bring the safeties down that you're trying to get past uh, the furthest. And then you can see right here, we're just basically getting right over the top. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, but you can do it as is. You don't have to really do anything. If you have enough of a speed advantage, this will one play uh, cover four by itself. I just don't find that it's nearly as effective as you can see. It's a much tighter window if you do it that way. Uh, but you can see we came down with the ball. So if you want check downs, if you want um, the crossing receivers to still be there, you still have that possibility. Next up, we got the PA boot slide. Post pass, this is a really good cover three play. You just want to streak the A route. Uh, that's pretty much it. The B route here is going to be the play because essentially, you know, this used to be a good cover two play. Now it's a good cover three play. Cover two doesn't really, cover two's corners kind of drop back into that now where here in cover three, they just kind of chase that, uh, that A route and just leave a really big opening to the outside. If you have enough speed, this can be a one play touchdown. I'm going to move the ball over uh, and make this even easier. So now with all this extra spacing, I should be able to uh, get up that sideline. You just have to wait for that cornerback to overreact. And then you can see we're just having a really explosive play against cover three. Next up out of the ACU off, we got the PA deep cross. Let's go ahead and let's pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to go uh, dollar uh, cover four drop. This play right here, I mean, you don't really need to make any adjustments. It's actually a one-play touchdown against cover four with none. Um, but I find that it's going to be best to, uh, I mean, it's probably best just to run it like this based off the fact that you have a lot of really quality checkdowns uh, coming across the field. So, like I said, you can get, like, the running back there, although I didn't even get it out. Uh, the running back was open, even though I didn't get the pass off. But, like I said, you have that, you have the crosser, which will be man coverage. What the fuck? But the running back's a good uh, a good check down um, just to get it out to the flats. Um, you know, the crossing tight end's good against man. So there's a lot of really good, the, the in route's good against man. So there's a lot of really good check downs. I find, you can see I'm rolling out because the uh, the blocking is a little bit funky. I'm rolling out because the, the, the tight end here, you want to re-block that tight end. Uh, basically, he's doing some sort of weird thing. If you put him on a pass block, he'll do a better job. You won't have to roll out as much. Um, to try to hit these plays because that basically leaves you kind of exposed but ultimately you can see it's an easy one play touchdown next up we got the zone week the halfback zone week let's go let's pick that this is another good run play another good inside run play right there you can see uh, we have a gap i mean the, that was obviously a cover four because the safeties played the run really well but against normal run defenses where they don't shoot the gap it's just a really consistent inside run you can flip the play easily run it you know in any direction you want here's not necessarily the best look it's kind of stacked up box but if you have spacing along the line um, you'll have a lot of success right here. Like I said, anytime you have spacing, you're going to have uh, a pretty good man-on-man -man blocking concept, and you'll have a very consistent run. So it's something important to have in the arsenal uh, of this formation. Next up, we got the tight end cross. We're going to pick that. Defense will go random. It's another good play. I mean, no matter what side you're, you're trying to go to, the crossing tight ends uh, will typically, you know, whether it's man or zone, that was an all-out man blitz. It still got open. Uh, but that's pretty much going to be your look. You're pretty much just looking for these crossing tight ends on both sides, uh, and you'll have some uh, you'll have some successful plays. Um, there are some adjustments you can make uh, to increase to improve this play. <clears throat> Excuse me, to improve this play. If you want to go in just one direction, if you pre-snap read it, um, you could always just put this dude on a flat, and then you can see how um, you know you're basically just isolating one tight end. But uh, it's it's a really good play to uh, to either side of the field, based off of the fact that both tight ends um, should find separation every time. If you have a cover two, like right there, um, that guy just splits the cover two safeties. That's also going to be um, you know obviously a, a good play. But um, ultimately, it's all about these uh, these crossing safeties. Here, it looks like we have a cover four that makes. Up. A couple four quarters will definitely get crossed up on a play like this. Although there, I probably should have bullet passed it. If you get a cover four quarters, it's best just to put this X route here on a comeback. Uh, and that will, once again, like you see, we're crossing these guys up. Now the B route, there's no safety over the top to help out. So this is definitely a very good, one of the better cover four one play touchdowns. Next up, out of the pistol A slot, we got the PA counter waggle. This play works against just about any defense. Just streak the A route. Here looks like we got a double safety blitz. But, uh, you know, basically the Y route instantly open. Um, that's going to beat man or zone, which that obviously was a man. 
um, all these routes real really I mean it's really all about the I'm really trying to hit the deeper one the B route but I need a little bit more separation but you can see both of these routes are really working out just fine obviously the receiver is going to be a much more explosive play than the tight end uh, but this is something where you know this is all these plays are really designed to base basically work off of the run plays uh, your user middle linebacker has to follow these crossers which they typically will be playing in the box trying to stop the run plays so that's what makes these plays so successful Next up, we get the halfback counter. This play here is another play where you're really just looking for spacing. Any counter play, you're really looking for spacing in the direction of the counter. There, that's not really the spacing that I want. I really want a formation like this where the defensive end is out wide. Uh, this is going to be a much better look. But you can see we still got a guy coming off the backside. So, I mean, all run plays can be kind of hit or miss. But uh, this is still one of the better run plays in this formation. You can see right there, now we get a really good run look. Uh, the more spacing, the better when it comes to counter plays at the bottom line. Next up, we got the strong power. I'm going to pick random. This is a play where you're actually going to want more. I mean, spacing is the enemy of this play. This play is more about um, a tightly packed box. It's best to run. I find it's best to flip it and run behind the receivers. Uh, but the more tightly packed they are, the better, in my opinion. Uh, this play actually probably works best against blitzes, heavy blitzes, people that like to send uh, man blitzes, house blitzes, stuff like that. That's really going to be when this play shines. Uh, but ultimately, you know, it's I, I'd have to set that up. Next up, we got the halfback power O. Go ahead and go random on defense. This play here, I mean, obviously, um, you know, you want to go to the uh, the more spaced out play. Like here, we have, you know, everybody to the one side. Uh, but this is probably one of the most consistent plays in this, in this formation as far as runs. Um, here we got a double safety blitz. I could try to just take this outside. This is a perfect opportunity for the power O play. But you can see, I mean, there's, um, you know, any overly aggressive defense. So this play here, you can take this to either side. If it's a zone coverage, take it to the wide receiver side. If it's a man coverage, I would take it to the uh, to the other side because there won't be any cornerbacks on that side. So for zone, flip it. For man, run it as is. And there you can see it's a really successful play. You can run it inside or outside. Next up, we got the smash. We'll have to pick that. Against cover three especially, um, this B route is going to get wide open. Um, both, you know, mostly because these uh, these outside cornerbacks now chase the streaks. Um, you can you can make that even you know more apparent by putting the Y route on a streak and putting the X route on a smoke, uh, which will change the uh, change the you know changes it a little bit, but it'll get this receiver open even more. So against cover threes, that's an easy steal all game, uh, and then obviously the running backs also a very easy steal all game as well underneath pretty much any zone. So those are pretty much your two biggest reads on uh, on this play. Against cover four, it'd be best just to streak the uh, the X route. So now you have two guys taking those cornerbacks back. And then once again, you can still steal that route. So this is going to be a very big route against cover three and cover four. Um, and then once again, obviously, the running back is still working in the flat. Any off coverage, this running back will uh, will have success. Next up out of the pistol wing slot, we have the strong power. This play right here, I mean, you know, based off the fact that safety shifted, I'm not necessarily going to take it that way. This is a good inside and outside run. Um, I typically want to try to run to the receiver side, though. So just as long as they don't shift the way that they did, uh, I find it's best to flip it. Um, and then you can see you can have a lot of success. It's a good inside run. Like I said, I'm going to try to take it wide if I get a good look. Uh, where they're not shifting or adjusting the way that they are, but you can see like right here There's a there's a lot of space out here next out of the U deep slot We have the PA boot over we'll go ahead and pick that it's another player. You're just going to streak the tight end um, Basically, you know this route here the, the B route or the Y route is going to get open against just about any defense uh, one of those two just about every time so uh, this is another play works really well with the passing plays based off of the fact that um, you know your opponent's going to be playing in the box they really it's really up to your opponent to stop these crossing routes and they won't be able to do that based off the fact they're typically going to be playing down trying to stop the run plays the Y route here is a really good check down as well although I haven't really had to hit that yet the, it also pulls coverage down for this B route you can see the B route's getting open consistently but the underneath route would be good check down especially against man coverage Next up, we have the tight end cross. So this play here, I like to drag the B route, 
put their running back on a uh, any route and motion them out and have them on a streak. Now, pretty much both sides of this field will be dangerous. Uh, where the tight ends especially are going to be the plays, but you have a good check down in the B route. Um, and this is pretty much going to be, you know, this is the play. You really have crossers to both sides now. Uh, and it should work against just about any defense that you're going to run into. You can also flat the B route. <coughs> if it's a cover three or something like that, that's obviously going to have a lot of success here. It looks like we have uh, cover four quarters. You can also put the B route on a flat if you want, if you want to attack both sides. But I really find it's best just to do it like this. Um, so we'll go and do this one more time. Let's say right here we have it looks like a cover two. We got the you know tight ends crossing. It's a really easy concept. It really shouldn't uh, you know I, I typically like to go that direction, but you can really do a lot of different things. You can also motion across the streak, um, and it's going to have you know it's going to have the same effect. Um, you can streak the tight end. You can streak the A route, and it'll have that effect. I mean, there's multiple things you can do here uh, to to you know cross up your opponent because the crossing tight end is really where it's at. So if you want to take the more traditional look where you just play the A route on a on a streak and you can, you know you're having the same thing. Obviously the Y route's not as explosive as some of the other concepts that I've used this in uh, because it's a tight end, but you can see how you know you're having uh, it's gonna have a successful effect, especially because you're once again your opponent's gonna be playing in the box because of the run plays. Next up we have the strong power. Here's another play. If they're blitzing heavy like they are here. Um, I could definitely try to take this outside and get around it. Although there, I mean, I probably should have went to the receiver side. I really find it's best to flip it back towards the receiver side. But if it's a man coverage, it is a good opportunity to try to take it wide uh, against the, um, against the uh, where there's no cornerback. So if it's zone, I'd say flip it. If it's man, I would say run it this way. It's like I said right here, no no, no safety help outside, no cornerback help outside. Um, although they did a pretty good job. And running Tyler Matthews doing a pretty good job of holding that down. Um, but that's your those are your most opportunities right there is, is that type of look here We go once again, like I said, we got a zone take it to the short side and I almost took it to the house Because the one guy just shoestring tackles me. I think I almost had that but that's gonna be the look It's gonna be flipping it running it to the uh, to the receiving side. It's gonna give you the best opportunity next up We got the halfback counter It's another play you're looking for spacing to the uh, to the counter side Anytime you have a defensive end uh, wide of the defensive tackle, that's going to be the look. Here, if they're in tight like this, you could also try to get around it and get outside. But typically, it's going to be best when they're spacing. So here we go one more time. Like I said, we can run that to the, uh, you know, there. I mean, you can see there was a complete overshift. Uh, but there's always run room. It's a good run play. Between this and the power are going to be your best, uh, best two run plays in this formation. Next up out of the pistol trips, we have the PA boot. It's another play, just streaking the tight end, and then you're working the crossing routes. I mean, you know, it's it's a it's an old trick, but it's a good one, as you can see. We're just having, uh, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, the I, I've I've done this multiple times in this book, where essentially the crossing routes, um, you know, they have to be user because they pretty much get open against whatever defense they're looking at. Um, and you can see we're just gonna have. I mean, I've run this a million times in my gameplay. It's it's super easy. It's super successful. Uh, and you really, they're going to beat man or zone. The B route or the Y route, you just have to pretty much go uh, with whatever one uh, you see. And then you can see right here, I mean, that, I didn't even streak that tight end because I knew it was an all-out-man blitz. But you can see if you get the check down, obviously it's going to be a big play. Next up, we have the PA counter waggle. It's another play, man or zone. You're just streaking the A route. The, uh, the B route, I find this one's a little bit better. Um, but I mean, it's really just about these two crossing routes. This guy here will get up for a good catch and run, although that was, um, that looked like a cover two zone, which typically that's not a read that he would have success against, but it did. Um, and then the Y route here is obviously the big play, um, although they're getting a little bit tighter coverage than, uh, than I normally, uh, normally see. Uh, maybe I'm just not making the best reads, but let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, the B route there, that gets open, the Y route there, that's going to get open. You know what I mean? These guys get open against just about every defense, man, or zone. It's really just about the crossing routes. Next up, we got the halfback counter. This is another play we're just looking for spacing. Uh, if you have the defensive end out wide or there was in kind of tight, you're going to see you're going to have success. Um, like I said, that's the look I want where the defensive end is out wide like that. Uh, that's going to be the easiest one to get through. Next up, we got the strong power. We're going to pick that. This play here, I typically want to flip it back. If it's a zone coverage, flip it back towards the receivers. That will give you the best blocking uh, possible um, is to run it there because you'll have an advantage. So zone coverage, flip it to the receivers. Man coverage, just like a man blitz, I'll run to the outside. You see we get a really good block there. That guy took out two dudes. 
Uh, but you can see that's that's pretty much the read. Man coverage, run it as is. Zone coverage, flip it behind the receivers. That's going to be your best opportunity for big plays. Here we have uh, Matthew and then my blocker block nobody. But, you know, that can happen when you have really good players like that. I mean, outside of... Um, you know, Tyra Matthew outside, this play is going to have a lot of success against these type of defenses. And then, like I said, there's nothing but space uh, if you run it behind the receivers. Next up, we have the smash. So this play here, you can have a lot of success with this play just by putting the X route on a, um, a smoke and then putting the Y route on a uh, smart route. And uh, the Y route will have a lot of success because, you know, the, the cover three is just the way the cornerbacks react. They, they play deep routes first that are in their area. So you could do that pretty much all game. You could do the same thing with cover four. Against cover four, though, you want to streak both receivers. I'm not going to show cover four, but this would be the setup against cover four and the Y route will get open again. Next up, out of the tight slots, we got the bench switch. This is a good uh, passing formation against just about any defense. The uh, the X route here, if it's a cover two like that was, it's going to get right up the same. You can do things to make that get even more wide open. You can motion across uh, one of these receivers and streak them and then put the X route on a flat, although I messed that up already. I got that kind of backwards. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you can. there's a couple different things you can do. I find it's best just to run like this. But if you put the, uh, say you put the Y route on a flat, um, and then motion across the B route and streak them. That will help get that cover two concept open. It'll also get them open against cover three and stuff like that. I mean, this is a really good way to run just about anything. So here we got that man coverage. You can see, you know, it's gonna these routes. The, this route setup is gonna be just about any defense for the most part um, with success. So uh, and it's a concept I've put out multiple times. So I would say like this is you know a good a good setup here. I also like the streak or you know put the tight the A route on an in route. You can do that for a check down, but it's not something you're really gonna need. So if the Y route's open immediately, a lot of times I'll just take that. You get a very good catch and run with that. Um, but this concept is really good against man or zone. Now the man beater uh, would typically be the um, the X route. Uh, you could also put if it's if you're expecting man put the Y route here on a, uh, a zig route although here he gets like a really wide and release but eventually he'll beat that it's also a very good check down so man coverage put a zig route for that route zone coverage put a uh, flat for that route and you'll know when you make the you know like right here the guy follows so you know exactly what you're looking at and it doesn't really have to be that combination either you can put the y route like here i'm putting the y route on that route that kind of helps with the zig and you can see i mean we're just getting you know just about everything's open i mean that's when you run this concept it really beats just about any defense Next up, we got the mesh. Go and we'll pick random again. This is another play that really beats just about any defense because it's really all about the crossing drags. Um, so, you know, other than hard flats, that's the only thing that would really give this play problems. You can also motion across this route here, uh, which when you have that hard flat, or when you have that uh, scenario where the B route gets open, like especially against cover three, now it'll get open even more because... You can motion across this route here and create that same uh, effect um, of the previous play. So now, um, if, especially if it's like a cover three, I mean, you see this B route still having success anyway, but um, you can see that uh, you know that's going to help pull back the safeties and stuff like that. And If it is a cover three, it'll get this guy wide open. Oh, well, that was a man coverage. Um, maybe we'll get a cover three here. It depends on if that guy follows. So yeah, now we have that, uh, that look. Um, where that B route will get wide open because the cover three cornerbacks just really overreact to those uh, those streaks. So you know that's something that you could use to basically work against cover three or cover four. Next up, we got the corner strike. This play here, I mean, I'm pretty much just going to put the A route on streak, put the X route on a drag, block the running back, and that's pretty much it. I wish I could motion this drag, but that's going to be your check down. Essentially, this play here, I mean, if it's a cover three, the B route's going to get open. It used to be a one play touchdown, but it's not anymore since the patch. Uh, but that's pretty much your look. That's going to be your, um, you know, your everything here. You've got your flat beater. If the, if the RB route's open in the flat right away, you take it. Against man coverage, it's not really going to be the best. Um, you can also put that on a zig if you're expecting a man coverage. Uh, so, like I said, the two run plays, I'm going to show them both. I'm going to show you guys the reads you need to make. I mean, they have a couple other ones to counter, stuff like that. But I'm going to show you guys. I'll put them all in my audibles. The counter, the zone. Uh, and then, like I said, the strong power is definitely my favorite now. And then the last one, I guess, we'll just make the draw play. But I'll show you guys the reads you need to make to run these plays uh, successfully. 
mode because this is actually going to be one of the better running schemes in the game. If you go back to uh, Madden, like I said, I remember if it was 16 or 17 or what, but you could also replace these guys with tight ends, which was also a very popular uh, cheat to do. Uh, if you want some extra blocking, you could do that. Um, I'm not going to do that, though. I don't find it's necessary. I feel like the receivers do just fine, and I don't like to have to switch them out when I'm running an entire scheme, so I'm going to run it with receivers because the passing plays are going to be kind of dependent on that. So we'll go ahead and pick the halfback zone. On the defensive side, we're going to match. We're going to go with random nickel because this is a three wide receiver set. So we're going to pick that. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the reads. Um, now, this, for, you know, the first play I can tell the biggest gap. Typically, you're just looking for gaps. If you have a big gap like you do here, a wide alignment like this, the halfback draw is going to probably make the most sense. You do have a good straight-ahead run in this particular formation. I'm not sure if in other playbooks you do, but I know in this particular formation you have that. Now, this formation is a little bit more stacked to the middle based off the fact that you have that 3 3 5 look. I would say the strong power, like I said, I'm always going to be looking for opportunities to run this strong power, but you do have uh, a couple of good options when it comes to the halfback zone. This is a play I was, I was never never really capable of running the halfback zone it's something that i'm not very good at running the power though i absolutely love uh if it's a zone coverage i typically flip it if it's a man coverage i typically run to the open side it's really that simple and you're really just watching is there a cornerback on the right side i mean he's playing way off so you could run it in that direction but i'm gonna flip it i'm gonna flip it every time that i have a zone play and then you can see how the blocking is just phenomenal this year which like i said that was kind of the thing in the past it was really overpowered in the past and it feels that way again so i mean you have your traditional looking for the gaps i would say these three plays here the draw the zone and the counter are all plays where you're really just looking for gaps like the draw right here i could take that right up the middle because that's where my biggest gap is and i actually like that you get a little bit of a hesitation before the handoff because you can see it actually helps the block set up the only play, in my opinion, is different than looking for gaps. It's just a straight man or zone read, and that's the halfback power. If I have a zone, I'm going to go left. If I have a man, I'm going to go right. It's that simple. Here, though, it looks like we have a much bigger gap to the counter, so we're just going to go ahead and hit that. I'll go to the practice to show you guys how to read counter plays. There is a read you have to make when it comes to counter plays. I try to go over it in every video that I, that I you know, basically talk about a counter play. But like I said, you always want this guy out wide. That's important to have that gap between him and the defensive tackle. And then it's really a simple read of one guy. You're reading this one guy. If he crashes in, he's aggressive like he is here. You can't go outside. You got to go inside behind your pulling blocker this guy here he's gonna come out he's gonna he's gonna stick him i guess i guess i had the wrong guy whoever the pulling blocker is i guess it's the tackle my bad so the, the guard my bad so yeah the guard's gonna come across i thought i was on him he's gonna stick him you gotta go inside it doesn't even have to be a great block you just have to go inside of it because he's gonna shield you from that defender there's gonna be animations as well where this guy just kind of stands around and waits he'll just stop right here and he'll become he'll basically start reading if he does that if he slows down if he hesitates you have to take this run outside of him because at that point this blocker is going to come across he's going to stick him right there and then you take it outside that's just that's just really all there is to it if you make that read correctly you will have a successful run every time I really feel if you have a stack box like this too, or you have a lot of blitzing, the strong power is going to be huge. It just lets the blitzers through, and by the time they come in, you're pretty much gone. So this is something that if you have a lot of heavy man blitzers and stuff like that, this is going to eat them up. And then, I mean, here's a good opportunity for that zone, flipping it to the weak side. Like I said, I could have ran counter there, but you can see there's definitely some easy reads when you're looking for space. Uh, this is a really easy formation to run, and it's a really good running formation. It's definitely back in a big way. So here's another opportunity. Here we're going to go power. Like I said, I'm going to go zone side. Let these guys, they're going to stack the box. I'll let them in. Look how that hole opens up right over the middle. I mean, there's just nothing but running space. This is one of the most wide open running uh, schemes in the game. Uh, but let's go and let's move on to some of the pass plays. We got three pass plays. Like I said, the verticals, I'll start off with that. This is one of the most broken pass plays in the game last year. And without a doubt, I mean, it's one of my most used plays of all time. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. On the defensive side, we're just going to go coverage to coverage. We're going to start off with a cover two and work our way back. This play here, this is pretty good as is. I mean, a lot of times I just like to streak the tight end. The running back is a really good check down. Uh, and it's going to be important when it comes to cover too because that's really what gets this guy open underneath here uh, once that cornerback drops down on the running back. So against cover two, you pretty much want to make that read. I don't even have to streak. Against cover two, I don't have to streak the Y route. That's probably best to leave him there because that's going to pull that safety in a little bit. And then you can easily get some one-play touchdowns out of this if you're running it to the open side of the field, which I'm currently not. So Now against a defense like cover four quarters, you can have that same success. You just have to motion out 
the running back the same way he did against cover three. Put the X route on a zig, and that's just going to create an, an ungodly type of creation or space right through the middle, which is something that I do quite a bit. Cover four quarters, cover six, cover um, cover nine, anything where there's a where half the field's a cover four quarters, this play will work just like this. Um, you just need to split the field. You just have to have streaks on the one side, and then, like I said, that zig route is enough to just make that outside cornerback uh, basically glitch out or, you know, not really glitch out, but just slow down enough that you just have to bomb it up. So if you get a look like that, this is a really good play. Like I said, that's any look where you have, like, your cover four palms, um, any any defensive look where, like, cover six, half of the cover six is a cover four quarter so you basically just have to identify which half of the field that is and you're going to glitch it out although obviously it works against cover two as well which is the other half of the cover six now that's not necessarily the best play against man although you do have uh, uh, the running back the running back's a great play against man that's probably the best read when it comes to that i'm going to say the best man beating play uh, is going to be without you know without doubt the cross drag for one but there's also really going in the fake screen we'll start off with the fake screen so this is definitely one of the better uh man man beating plays uh, all i'm really going to do is put the x around the streak especially if it's like uh, man cover two which is typically what you're going to see it's just going to pull the safety back i'm really going at the other routes anyway um you could also put them on a drag which isn't gonna you know i could put the a route on a streak and you know there's a couple different things you can do but i'm really looking at this b route this b route is one of the better man beating routes that you're going to find especially in this formation you don't have to make any adjustments for that particular route. I just like to make adjustments around it. But you can see, once he slingshots around like that, he's going to beat whoever's covering him. And right now, it's a linebacker, which a lot of times you'll see because of where he is on the field, because of the spacing, the separation, the the the, the way the defense sets up. I'm matching in personnel, but you have a cornerback on the right side. A lot of times, you're not going to see a cornerback on, uh, that, on that side. It would typically be manned by a linebacker. But even if it's not, it's still going to beat that. It really doesn't matter. So I went ahead, went ahead and I switched over to a dime look just so you can see that it really doesn't matter. It's still going to make the same uh, type of break and still have the same success. Uh, but like I said, dragging the X route's good. I mean, obviously, I'll give you a check down. And then here we have that route one more time. Like I said, it doesn't matter if he's in a, against a cornerback, a linebacker. It doesn't matter. That's a really good man-beating play. And it's so quick, and since it breaks outside first... Your user's never going to really see that coming. It's just something that will always catch them off guard. I also like this drag. Like I said, that drag is going to be really good. A lot of times the user will chase that across, leaving the middle of the field even more wide open. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish this particular video off with the cross drag. This is obviously a really good uh, man coverage play again. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to pick random. Now, for me, I like to run this guy. I like to motion this guy across. There's a couple different ways you can run it. I also like to streak the A route sometimes, although it's not a bad idea just to uh, leave it as is. Like I said, I like to motion him across because I think it's just better timing between the X route and the Y route. Then I'm going to go to block the running back because he's not really doing a ton. But all these crossing routes, I mean, you can see how against man coverage is going to be a complete uh, destroyer based off the fact that we have all these crossing routes. But it's not just going to do that against man coverage. So like I said, I like to streak the A route. Sometimes I even like to streak the uh, you know, the X route too, but that doesn't really matter. I think that the two main routes are going to be the Y route and the B route. And you can see right here, this guy just comes open right across from that. So really easy read. Like I said, sometimes if you want to put the, uh, the running back out like you've been in the past, put him on a slant. I mean, I wish I could put him on... Uh, a similar route um, that the uh, the Y route is on, uh, but then, like I said, now you have you know you have you guys pulling back, and then you have uh, multiple options uh, to really come open underneath. But this is really the money play right here. This is the guy that's going to be open the most, and then the drag underneath him is typically just going to be a check down. But those are pretty much your pretty much your reads. Like I said, I like having that. I like having somebody pulling back, but I mean, there's multiple ways to do this. You can see we're having a lot of success, no matter who we do. We're just reading high low. Like which one comes open first? A lot of times. And if you leave it like this too, I mean, this is a really tough play to stop too. You can see here the tight ends coming open on the other side. There's so many different ways to run this because of the way that these these packed receivers are in tight and crossing, and it's just really a really difficult play for just about anybody to stop. It's not something that you're going to see uh, to the point where it's going to be, you know, I don't think there's a ton of one play touchdowns to be had out of this. Although you can see we're definitely getting some very explosive plays with this particular route, but it's definitely one of the harder to stop plays. You can definitely get some huge chunk plays as well. So I'm going to do this. 
couple more times. Like I said, I also like the motion of running back out. Uh, I feel like you can do this and have the same effect with those deeper receivers. The tight end obviously is a weapon as well. Although here you can say I had to wait a little bit longer than I want to. I didn't really get the catch and run that I typically get. But you can mirror that original play. You can mirror that original look with the uh, you know with the verticals play doing that. So another really good cover two play is the stick. We're going to pick that. And then we'll just keep going with the uh, with a cover two zone here because this is really just a cover two play. So against cover two, all you really have to do is streak the B route, streak the A route, then streak the running back once again to put him to the line. That's going to be one way to do it. Uh, and then essentially, you know, you're spreading this defense so much that, I mean, the B route's going to have success over the middle. Uh, you can have success with the outside route as well. For the outside route, all you really need to do uh, is motion him out. You can't motion out both him and the running back, but you can motion him out. He'll get outside of that coverage or the B route once again, and you're still going to have success with that. Basically, you're putting that middle, that, that deep half safety into a quandary between those two routes. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.